As we prepare for the National Day of Prayer on May 6th, I want to help you get rid of excuses and give you five conditions for answered prayer. Stick around as I first lay a foundation and then I'm going to build on it. So on Thursday, May 6th, men and women of all denominations are going to gather together to pray for our nation. Because through prayer, we're able to tap into the wisdom, the strength, protection, and peace of God. Charles Stanley said that Satan is not concerned with how many times we go to church or how many hymns we sing. He does not feel threatened by our organizations or our cutting edge technologies, but when God's people fall on their knees and claim Christ's power and authority, everything in heaven will begin to move and everything in hell will begin to shake. Prayer has been historically a vital part of our heritage. In 1775, the First Continental Congress called for a national day of prayer. In 1863, Abraham Lincoln called for such a day. In 1952, Congress established the National Day of Prayer as an annual event, and it was signed into law by President Truman. And in 1988, the law was amended, signed by Reagan, and designated the National Day of Prayer as the first Thursday in May. Now we pray because we are one nation under God, as our pledge states. And we pray because it is in God we trust, as our money declares. We pray because Jesus said, when you pray, not if you pray. We pray because Jesus said that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. We pray because the scriptures teach to continue steadfastly and earnestly in prayer, to be anxious for nothing but to pray about everything and to pray without ceasing. We pray because it is God's expectation that we would be people of prayer. Whether we are five or 105, educated, uneducated, rich or poor, we should pray. And no matter what your prayer life is like right now, You can make it better, stronger, more vibrant, and effective. And I want to help you do that today. Here are five conditions to answer prayer. Number one, we must have a genuine personal relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You want prayer answered, you must have a relationship with Him. Number two, we must know things of God. What Paul is saying in this passage is that when one enters into a genuine personal relationship with Jesus Christ, we receive access to God's wisdom and the ability to comprehend it. It doesn't mean that we're gonna know everything, but the more time that we spend in scripture, the more we come to know God and the more we think like God. We don't become God or God's, but rather his view becomes our view and his will becomes our prayer. Number three, we must properly deal with our sin. The psalmist said that if I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. That word cherished in the Hebrew text means to be aware. So if we're aware of sin, and we're not willing to do anything about it, our prayers are gonna fall flat. They won't make it past the ceiling. So I cannot stress how important it is that we deal with sin properly, especially in connection with our prayer. So in the description below, I've included a guide on how to get clean before God, which includes five areas of potential sin that we need to deal with. And number four is that our motives must be pure. James says that when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives. I believe that our deepest desire is to know God's will, to do God's will, because we know that God's will is the best and that it cannot be improved upon. However, because we're human, we let self get in the way. But when we make the decision to let scripture be our guide in our prayers, it becomes a more God-centered, biblical, unselfish prayer. Number five, Jesus tells his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. So we pray until something happens. If we truly believe that we are praying according to God's will, why in the world would we ever stop? So of those five conditions, I want you to pick one that you can start working on today and encounter God through your prayer. God bless.